Now, today has mainly been doing the first dry run, or I suppose I should say wet run uh, and final clean. And everything seems to be working uh, pretty well, I have to say. Um, but this is a very quick video coming back to the whole thing about filters because this is the big Y filter which is going to come down into this pump and out of this pump and into I'll just put that on there to stop any dust getting in to the plate chiller and then out and into the fermenter or the um, firmzilla now the um, issue that uh, arose was that these are expensive and they are expensive as well but there's a guy on YouTube and I'll put a link to his YouTube channel called Norfolk Hillbilly I think it's Clive and he came up with this idea he found these which are kind of like tubes, stainless steel tubes, and there is a term for them. I'll put a link to the eBay uh, item for these. That's a six inch, that's a 12 inch, or 150 and 300 centi miles, whatever it is, milligram jobbies. And then what he did was he got a standard tri-clamp fitting well, actually no he didn't what he did he got a tri-clamp fitting with just a hole but I couldn't find them and his idea was <laughs> pins just kicked in his idea was to attach this to the tri-clamp fitting and then stick that into there and you would then have a filter now I thought, well, why don't we just put a thread, run that thread all the way through, but it's taper, it's a tapered thread. So what I did was I put a thread on the other end. So as you can see, it's not threaded all the way through. It doesn't need to be either. It only needs to be a tiny little short bit of thread, which I can't do one-handed, hang on. And then these little hop filters, or whatever they're called, that's what I use in the boil kettle, uh, just to, as a first line of defence before it comes out into the wire filter. So that then, it doesn't need to go in all the way, it just needs to hold itself firm. So that then goes into there with a tri-clamp and then another tri-clamp fitting on the other end with just like um, a cam lock fitting and you have a filter so Clive as always this guy uh, he's, he's a an inventor extraordinaire uh, excellent idea sir um, and I hope you don't mind me just bollocking around with a normal uh, tri-clamp half inch BSP tri-clamp fitting and getting the thread in there and I have to fess up I couldn't get a fucking thread in there these are uh, they're, 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 they're tough as like my gran seriously so I found a place in Sheffield called Lepla Hydraulics L-E-P-L-A Hydraulics I'll put a link or at least their phone number because I don't know if they've got a website I went in and and I said, can you pop us a thread in there? He said, oof, hard stuff, that stainless. I'll have a go. Buggered off for half an hour. I'm just stood there having a chat with all the people. Came back, said, there you go. Try that. And it worked. And, uh, and they charged me a nine quid, including VAT. So I gave them a tenner. <laughs> um, so that's a fiver each. I think these, you know, these, these things, a couple of quid. So, but, I mean, what a bargain. Uh, so I'll put a link to that. I'll put a link to... Uh, I'm sure it's Clive, Clive's page, Norfolk Hillbilly. I'll put a link to where you can get these from on um, the interweb eBay. And uh, 
Yeah. Funky filters.